Hi, Sue Wilson, and I have a clean and simple card to share with you. And I have to be honest, this is kind of one of my favorite cards. Super simple, but I just love the way it looks. So I'll show you what we'll be using. It's pretty easy. We have Stella from the Frames and Tags, and we are using the Sentiment Love and Sending Love and Hugs from the Mini Expressions. So easy, quick, simple card, but we're going to be using some of our opal polishes. This is Pink Thistle. This is uh, blue lavender, no lavender blue, apologize. Take the lid off of that. And this is blue parakeet, yes. Take the lid off of that. Now these kind of look like bright colors, but um, they're really lovely together. Um, and I just think they look so pretty. So I'm gonna start with a piece of black card because the opal polishes, they change color a bit when you put them onto to black card. So you've got um, this one that's got sort of your pinky look to it. This one looks like it's blue, but it comes out with a really pretty kind of a kind of a pinky color too, but different pink. And this is the one that looks green, but it ends up looking quite blue when you put it on. But what we're going to do is we are going to put them on a bit thicker. So I'm just going to pop them on here, random bits. So you can see there's, there's no pattern or anything to these. I'm just going to take a little bit and just sort of mix it about okay a little bit and you're going to end up having a little bit of blending of colors on here you can rinse those it's not an issue and put a little of this one on there so what i'd like to do with these is just get it just thick enough so you're not seeing the black through it and you've got a nice mixture of the colors that you like okay about like that let's put a little bit more of the green in because it makes a really really lovely sort of a uh, just a, a different look to it, I think. There we go. Layer that up and probably, mm, let's go with a little bit more of this. Just sort of fill it in. So once you're happy with it, just set it aside to dry, okay? Pop that over here. There is one I've done earlier, so you can see, I've just got that sort of streak. It's almost like a it's kind of like a mother of pearl look to it. So let's pop the lids back on these. And um, just a quick reminder, a water-based product, a little bit of spritz of water on it. Each one of these, every time you use them, they won't dry out that way, okay? That's what you need to do because you may not know the next time you're gonna open them up, maybe a while, and you don't wanna have them be dry. So get in the habit of doing that and you will have Perfect opal polishes or any of our other polishes will be absolutely perfect to use the next time you pull them out to use them. Let me just tidy up just a little bit here. Okay, so now this one's already dry. So depending on how thick you put it on, leave it to dry for probably 20 minutes to a couple hours, okay? Um, I'm going to bring in the Stella die and she is going to cut. I'm gonna use all of the decorative pieces Pop that into place. There's my tape. And just twist these. Oops, can't get a hold of her. Tell you what, put that there. Twist this one so it's the same exact pattern. So you're missing this cutting die. We're just gonna put that on there. And because this one is really detailed, you can put the middle one in there, but I find it's a lot easier to do it in two different sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this first, and then we'll add the other one in. Give it a good run forward and back. Okay, check it. That looks like it's cut pretty well. Let's bring in our tool in one. It's underneath everything over here. Give it a couple little pushes out and get the stuff that's not underneath the tape there. You've got a little leftover bit you can use for anything else you want, sentiments or maybe even flowers. Okay, top that off. Oop, oop, oop. Take this one. And I've got some bits I've got to pop out here and then we will put the middle one back in. There we go, that's not too bad. Oh, missed that one, okay. So now I'm gonna bring this piece in, pop that into place, tidy up. 
and tape that one down. Let's see, we can even use these. Center that. Get a couple pieces of the removable tape around that. Pop that back onto the plate. Quick cut. Yeah. There's just so much detail in some of these dies. I just find it's a lot easier to do it in two different sections rather than struggle and then have to really struggle to get the pieces out because they might not have cut all the way through. You just uh, just have to decide which is easier to do it for yourself. There we go. A couple little bits here. Okay. Looks pretty good. So now I've got two of these cut. And depending on where you lay them onto your uh, opal background, you're going to get different looks every time, which is kind of the fun of it, I think. So, all right. We're going to bring in a piece of card that is five and a half inches wide by ooh, just over seven, seven and an eighth inches long. And I'm going to add a bit of spray glue to both of these. There's that one. There we go. And we're going to offset them just off the edge of the, uh, the card a little bit. So right about, about like that, I'd say. Just have them playing off the edge a little bit. And right about, let's pull that one about like, eh, maybe just a tiny bit more apart. Okay, pop them down really good. Get underneath my piece here. And we're gonna trim away the extra bit. And use these are a little bit bigger. There we go. You can cut it in a paper cutter if you want it to be nice and smooth. There we go. And you can even save these for something else if you like, because you've got a little bit there you can use. So now I've got the base done. So what I want to do is bring over our backing. And because I've got all that beautiful color in those opal backgrounds, I've just done a white paper pierced edge on a white mat. Really clean and simple. Pop that into place. And I went ahead and I cut the Sending Love and Hugs out of another piece that I had done earlier. And I've done them again out of white. Now I've got two of these done out of white and I've taken off the Sending and have the love and hugs. So now what I want to do is layer these up with this one and I'll just show you how easy this is. You've got a really lovely spot to cut right along the bottom of the E there and the N, right like that. So that is perfect. And then just do a little teeny tidy on the top of that L and on the top of the ampersand. Say amper ampersand sand. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm going to add a bit of glue to the back of these. Do that one and do the sending. We're going to add these on to the white ones to really build up some dimension. Get that lined up. There we go. Oop, stay. That lined up nice. Pop this one on top. And I find it's easier just to hold it in my hand and kind of move it around until it gets in place. There we go. And the little curly bits need to be lined up. There we go. Just like that. A little bit extra glue on the back of these. And this one. And we're going to put this at the top in the corner, like that. And this beautiful love and hugs down here. So it all ties in really nicely with the color of your card, and yet you have a beautiful, clean and simple card. I think that is just stunning. Hope you've enjoyed this, and we have a YouTube channel, so many more videos on it. Just like and subscribe, and we'll send you out an email when we load new ones on.